hello there we have some freezer cooking going down a little bit come on there pause music freezer cooking definitely going down what i am sharing with you is my feeding feeding my freezer freezer cooking challenge i am leading this challenge live in this video whenever this video comes out the live part of the challenge as far as like the facebook group and me cheering the ladies on and all of that sharing all the pictures and everything will not be happening however i'm making the challenge evergreen so you can still sign up for it now the link for that will be down in the description below and what it does is it gently i mean there's there's a word jammer let's use that word it gently leads you through five days of freezer cooking and by the time you're done you'll have 10 to 14 depending on how you swing it meals in your freezer so you're not doing it in like um uh, four hours or eight hours or a full day or two days it's a little bit every day so on day one we're doing double dinners now I got to tell you I've got a little over 4,000 ladies who are doing this challenge with me this week and yes many of them stuck to the quick start guide that you get when you sign up and they made double dinners which was just two lasagnas several ladies have been so inspired they've been doing lasagnas and shepherd's pie and vegetable lasagna. I mean, we've got all kinds of different meals going down because all I did was I just gave them the little nudge and they're going to town. There's even a couple ladies, they've already done all five days. They just started this morning. They're like, we're just going to do it all. Yay. So it's so fun to see all their pictures and everything. And I will share some of those. You can go look over on my Instagram as well for that. But anyway, day one, double dinners. It's lasagna. Now for added fun, what has happened to my oven? The fuse blew third time this has happened to me so all day I was thinking I won't put anything in the slow cooker won't get anything else planned out because we will put I'll do double dinners tonight we'll have one lasagna I'll put the other one in the freezer want 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 I forgot the other day fuse blew in the oven we have to order it so I'm gonna basically not have an oven for a week while I'm doing this yay <laughs> but I'll remember now tomorrow we will set out something for the slow cooker so I had a bag of pot stickers from Costco I'll show you what those look like we had just picked them up oh a month or two ago yes pulling stuff out of the trash there so I put those um, on the stove just for gonna throw some odds and ends together for dinner and then I'm going to make two pans of lasagna I'm gonna show you that process now and so here's what the quick start guide whenever you sign up you get this feeding my freezer five-day freezer challenge guide it's got the directions it's got the recipes I'm scrolling through quickly it's super cute and then if you look down here it's also got the grocery list so I have directions in there for adapting or tweaking it to adjust it for your family size and dietary needs. We've got several ladies who signed up who can't do it live with me this week and they're planning to just do it on their own next week. So it could be lots of fun. Okay, so now we pause, although the meat's cooking, this freezer cooking to work on appliances. So appliance repair shop going down. Okay, so Mr. Travis in action, Benjamin's back. You had a nice walk? You having your crackers? No. Okay, I've got to do my job. We've Look at this, we've got a, a stool holding it. Okay, now I'm going to use this wonderful ground beef masher that someone sent me. You can also use a potato masher. I usually just use my spatula, but since someone took the time to mail this to me, I use it now. Thank you, because I would have never done that for myself. <laughs> okay, so we are preheating, and look at that. We, we have heat on the inside. I'm probably gonna end up making three lasagnas. I can't just make two, it's hard for me. But if you're just starting out doubling dinners, just double your dinners. Probably make two, and we'll do those for dinner tonight. And then I'll put one in the freezer. That will be sensible. Pot stickers are done. And Gabriel's like, oh boy, lasagna and pot stickers. So that might be how it really works out. We'll see. Okay, so I just went live in my Facebook group. And also, lots of you are asking for the Facebook group. That is just something I'm doing for the challenge right now. I cannot commit to running a Facebook group long term. I've had Facebook groups before with a whole lot of people. You can come in, it's fine, with a whole lot of people. And I always end up having to, like right now, one of the sweet ladies who works for me who does various things, big thing on her to-do list this week is she's gotta help moderate that Facebook group and approve people. And so Facebook groups, um, you know, they're just, they're just one more thing. Kind of like, you know, here I am with my podcast equipment. I think I've recorded six episodes so far. I've started my podcast two different attempts. 
and then something changes or I want to change something I have not got it off the ground yet and honestly I just I might never get it done I might have to do the 50 things I'm already doing and do those well and just not not add another thing in what in the world is happening to me I'm 40 now I'm thinking those thoughts come on Jay Moreau so this meat is done we're gonna add in our tomato sauce but I just wanted to say I did it I went live in the Facebook group but I can't keep it live the whole time I'm kind of checking in and out but let's get this sauce in and I will say I totally regret getting rid of my old funky 20 year old can opener because this can opener now I just gotta fight it every time I go to use it it is not my idea of fun that's for sure i don't know if i said this to you yet or not because i've been going back on my phone doing facebook and instagram but i um there's the directions that i have that people have followed in the quick start guide and then there's some of us mamas who are just like two and a half pounds of meat i don't think so here's six let's just quadruple this thing up so the directions to make the two 9x13s call for two and a half pounds of meat. Oh look, can not open it just worked on its own. It must have heard me talk about it. So I used three, I used seven pounds of meat. I used a three pound roll of um, sausage I had. And then I used four pounds of lean, like 90-10 ground beef. And no, I have not bought another cow yet, but I do. I need to email my farm friends back. They said they were going to have cows in September. And I may, have had, I may have needed to sign up in July. I need to do that. I would love to get another full cow in the freezer. Just convenient, and it ends up being the same as, same price as getting it from the grocery store, only it's a pure and holy cow. And the cow we got last year was grass-fed and grass-finished. I did not taste anything. I know some people have said they do grass-fed corn-finished because there can be a taste difference. It tasted like excellent ground beef and steaks and all kinds of wonderful cuts of meat to me. So maybe it's just our grass here in the Shenandoah Valley. I don't know. I think I'm out of oregano. How can that be? Okay, well, we'll put some basil in there. I won't tell. Yes, that will do. That will do. That's my dream around measuring. Get my ricotta and my eggs to fit here. Now some ladies are using ricotta, some are omitting it if it's just something their family doesn't care for. Some ladies are replacing ricotta with cottage cheese. I've even used sour cream before if I had to. Mix it up with the eggs, threw some mozzarella in there. No one knew it all worked out. Out fine at the end. Okay, so here's our two lasagnas for dinner out. Now we're gonna serve these up. Welcome back now to day two of the Feeding My Freezer Freezer Cooking Challenge. You can see I'm getting my whole assembly line set up over there. So in the quick start guide, there are directions today to make some egg bakes for the freezer and also blueberry pancakes. Again, some of these ladies have gone all out and are doing additional breakfast items. Some ladies already cooked for today and some ladies aren't starting until tomorrow or the next day. It's all gonna work out great in the end. What I'm doing today, we are getting ready to have five other family members come and visit with us for about five days. So instead of feeding nine, three meals a day, we'll be feeding 14, three meals a day. 
four or five days. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to get a bunch of breakfast items prepped ahead. We'll probably use a lot of this over the next several days, so I don't think they're gonna stay in the freezer too long. What I'm doing is I'm mixing up a big batch of pancakes. I'm also gonna do waffles and a bunch of French toast. And tomorrow, I'll be out for most of the day. I have two meetings to go to and just some errands. You know how it goes for me, over an hour away, over the river and through the woods. So tomorrow for the freezer cooking challenge is supposed to be freezer sandwiches. I'm going to try to get those freezer sandwiches done today. What I'm working with here in front of me is I have seven loaves of bread. So I'm gonna make four loaves into peanut butter and jellies. That'll give us 100 peanut butter and jellies for the freezer. And then I'm gonna make three loaves into French toast. So lots of good things going in the freezer today. Here's how my work areas getting all set up. I got both the waffle irons out, two griddles set up. This griddle my mom had passed on to me and I've never actually used it. That's why it's so sparkling clean, but we will get that done. So far today, Travis has our four new Ikea chairs put together. He's working on his to-do list. And then over here, this new faucet that we bought about a month ago, he's gonna try to get that on too. So we're all getting stuff done. I was hoping to get you know, my waffle irons and stuff set up over here, only whenever I did that, it flipped my breaker for this side of the kitchen. I mean, what, can I not have two griddles and two waffle irons and a fish tank and a TV and you know all these things over here? So, move my waffle irons over there, only you know what's happening is I'm not able to hop to that side of my kitchen as quickly as I thought, so I've lost a waffle already and I may just, these pancakes are going quick, so I may just give in and just do pancakes. Look at all of our pretty happy pancakes here cooling off and our two waffles. So now I'm on to French toast. French toast has been going really fast, faster than pancakes. So I actually I forgot to even get my camera turned back on. So I'm gonna get these off, get them cooling. Pancakes are completely cool and I need to get those back next. This griddle's been working great. Again, this is one my mom had given us and it just fit kind of awkwardly in my um, cabinet. So I've never taken it out since so she gave it to me and used it. And so on my other griddle, we can do eight pieces of French toast at a time, but on this one I could do 12. So that is nice. I did not realize it was actually bigger. Okay, so there was a loud buzzing outside. Went and checked. Our alarm is going off on our septic, country living. We have our septic service every year. It, it is fine, it has been fine, even with a large family in the house, but Travis went and checked on it and it, the motor is apparently burnt up, hot to the touch. <coughs> Woo, and apparently that's what you need happening when you're gonna have some extra people at your house too. So I called the septic company and hopefully they'll be able to just get out here fast, quick, in a hurry, get a new motor on there. But if I'm out of breath, that's also what's happening. Say daddy. No daddy. No daddy. Do you want to say French toast? No toast. No toast. Most things start with no. Okay, get ready for amazingness. I wanted to tell you what you're about to see so you don't think that my hands just grew 10 times in size. Travis is sitting down. We're gonna film him making 75 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. We're using strawberry jam this time. Here we go.
So we are back today. It is Thursday. Yesterday on Wednesday, I did nothing because Travis did this freezer peanut butter and jellies the night before. We've got a bunch of fun kid cousins here, so the noise level at our house is like even more than normal. So if you hear an extra squeal, that, that's what's happening there right now. Well, Daniel and Benjamin have dinosaurs. In the quick start guide directions for today, it was to do two three to four pound roast and to also do two bags of the cilantro and lime chicken, four meals total. I'm actually doing six. I have my two roasts. One of my roasts I have in my slow cooker for dinner later tonight. And then I did four bags of the cilantro lime chicken. One bag of the roast. I could not find three to four pound roast. Woo, woo, woo. Couldn't find a three pound roast at Walmart this go round. I think when I was doing that recipe, it was based on the fact that I had a whole cow in my freezer. So what I could find at Walmart now were the one to two pound roast. So I bought two two pound roasts, two one pound roasts. I've put them together in the bags. So here are the four bags of the lime and cilantro chicken. And then here's the one bag of the roast. I'm gonna label all these and get them sealed up. And then these are our roast for tonight. And they're just gonna cook on high for many hours. If you can get them in even earlier, they can slow cook on low all day. But I didn't get them in until about 11 or so. Also for dinner tonight, I'm gonna do a big thing of buttered green beans and we'll do macaroni because kids, they won't complain. And then for lunch today, we've got some beef taco leftovers. And I got a bunch of celery in my Misfits Market box this week. I already cut it and washed it. The chickens loved my celery tops. But I'm gonna do some cream cheese celery for the kids too. Okay, future Jay Morrell here. You see what happened is, I just shared with you the freezer cooking challenge and everything we did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even though we did Wednesdays cooking on Tuesday and Thursday. Then my oven, mm -hmm. yes, that one, same oven that uh, totally died on me Monday that Travis fixed for the fourth time, and we were able to get the lasagnas done. That oven then died again for a fifth time. So I was like, okay, we've been here over three years now. Travis has fixed up this oven multiple times. Sometimes he can fix it himself. Sometimes we have to order a fuse, which takes a week and a I need an oven. You all know this. Like, we need working ovens. We need what we need. Okay. So, with the oven, I just could not finish what was cooking on Friday. I also had the oven dying and stuff happened with my septic and family coming that week. I had a lot of things collide. The awesome thing is though, and you can click the hashtag over on Instagram and just moms from all over. We had over 5,000 moms doing this freezer cooking challenge. There's even some videos up on YouTube of the different ways that these mamas swung this freezer cooking challenge and made it work for them. Got their freezers filled. It was a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you this oven now and let you know my little appliance saga. So here's the oven. We went with this oven. It's a Frigidaire. Now I wanted to do stainless steel because it was the same price for a white or black oven. We've slowly been switching out to stainless steel appliances. I went into Lowe's to buy an oven to have them put in my van and buy it that day. Guess what? They had no wall ovens in stock. I mean, talking hand is jumping. <laughs> so then whenever I went online to order from Lowe's, they could not deliver me a wall oven until like mid to end of September. I would have waited two to three weeks for my oven to get here. Went on Home Depot. Home Depot got me a wall oven here, a stainless steel, didn't care about the brand, wall oven within a week. Still felt like it was longer than it needed to be, but it's like, I want to buy an appliance. Do you sell that appliance store? So that's why I went with this oven. I've used it. I've splattered stuff on the bottom. It's been wonderful thus far. Then, hello, we thought, well, if we did the stainless steel oven, the other thing I could upgrade was I got a stainless steel range hood. Also, my stovetop, it had been cracked. So along, I'm, I'm telling you, one thing after another. So now this stove top is upgraded. All my bananas from Costco. No cracks in it. I'm gonna try to be nicer to it and not stack stuff on it. You know I'm rough on things. So anyway, more kitchen upgrades. So we bought this faucet about six weeks ago when we upgraded the dishwasher. So we are now fully upgraded, about as upgraded as I'm gonna be right now. Of course I want, you know, the farmhouse sink and a million other things going on, but it has been nice to fill pots with this faucet like a regular person, yeah. 
finally, finally, I have released today, this is the day, packs seven, eight, and nine from my large family freezer meal collection. I have a bundle where I have my large family freezer meals pack one, two, three, four, five, and six for a discounted rate because they're all bundled together. Now, this is what I've been asked for. Jay Morrell, will you please do low carb and sugar free and even some dairy free large family freezer meals pack, this is it. So packs seven and eight are low carb, pack nine is dairy free. I'm so excited. I just did the grocery shopping so you will see the grocery haul coming out for this. I'm going to cook one of the packs each day. Now this is gonna make over 75 freezer meals if I do all three. And I do have a gluten-free friend who I'm going to split the meals with. It's gonna fill her freezer and it's gonna fill my freezer with all kinds of good meals awesome to share. So in each large family freezer meal pack, there is a grocery list that gives you a detailed list for everything you need for each meal. There is a batch cooking guide, which guides you through. So let's say you need to cook 20 pounds of chicken ahead. Well, that's going to hold your hand and guide you through it. There's the recipes for each of the meals. And these packs are so beautiful. The lady who has helped me with them to do all the graphics and such, she has just done a beautiful job. Love the sunflowers. Anywho, there's the recipe recipes, there's printables, freezer inventory sheet, printable labels. As a special bonus, there is the single recipe edition. So what this means is if you don't want to make four pans of low carb cabbage lasagna, then in the single recipe guide, it'll just guide you through making one. So if you do the full pack, you'll have over 25 low carb healthy freezer meals. If you do the single recipe edition, you would just end up with about eight to 10 if you want to be more sensible. So you get the whole thing in each pack. Each pack is valued at $14.99. Of course, when I bundle them together, there's a savings. And right now, today, since I'm doing this for a limited time, you can get the entire one through nine bundle for 60% off. That means you are getting each of the nine packs for only six bucks each. When they're regularly $14.99, you can get all nine packs for $54. The whole entire bundle is valued at $134. So many meals. And I have had mamas all over the country who are cooking these large family freezer meal packs. They love them, love them, love them. One of my good friends, Trisha Goyer, mom of 10, her and some of her girls recently cooked all these packs as well. And Trisha's coming to my house soon, so you'll get to meet her on video. That's gonna be lots of fun. And if you've already bought the one through six bundle collection, you can add on packs seven, eight, and nine for 30% off. All of the sale and super discounted links will be down in the description below. So if you love freezer cooking, and if you love low carb freezer cooking, I know you're gonna love these new packs. I'll chat with you in those comments below, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.